Hey, how's it going everyone? Welcome back to Mnix Plays Stellaris. Uh, we are back and looking at the Empire map. We have met a couple more Empires out there. Um, still, a lot of to, still a lot of stuff to do. We have a lot of things to do in our situation log. We still need to finish our tutorial really. Um, we need to get 10 monthly energy credit income. We need 30 monthly mineral income. We're pretty close to that actually. And as well, we need to build an observation post just for the tutorial. Um, in addition to that, I'm looking to expand maybe a bit further to the northwest. Um, and at the same time, we got to look at maybe research in general. Um, let me see how the divergence is like within the planet itself. How can I check that? The Empire, Empire? screen lists the, the factions tab. The leaders tab lets us hire, dismiss, and assign idle. Okay. Um. How can I check my planets? I guess like this. It looks like these guys all have similar traits. Um, we have a couple xenophiles in here. But I guess Divergence isn't too bad. Divergence 1.5.5. Yeah, it's not that bad. How's Divergence in Kitty Litter? 4.7. Huh. Fanatic Individualist, Xenophile, Materialist, Sedentary, Intelligence, Enduring, Continental Preference. No, that seems like the same. Ethics divergence represents the chance that this population will change ethics. Um, okay. So let's start up the game. Um, all of our ships are working right now. This one's surveying, this one's surveying as well. Our construction ship is going to build, build more research centers. So that's all good. Research, uh, we are researching the Kappa aliens. That is fine and dandy as well. We are a little low on minerals, so we gotta wait a bit and save up before we can do anything else. Um, no buildings require upgrades. New contact. We have received a communique from a previously unknown spacefaring empire. Call themselves the United F Commonwealth. They claim to have learned of our existence. Yeah, yeah. Um, these are the wide-eyed <coughs> guys, I guess. These are... These are... what kind of animal are they? Some kind of reptile. Uh, well met, we are the United Fexklanga Commonwealth, a nation built on principles of peaceful coexistence and individual freedoms. Prime Minister Axe McCat, the current head of our government, has expressed a sincere hope for a lasting friendship between our two peoples. How should we respond? They seem like individualists. Um, who is Spokey? This is Spokey speaking. Let's reply like that. What's, what's this? Okay, so... Oak Drazel are over here. Oh, those are the... So we, we, we actually met two empires. One of our fleets has gone missing in action. Our science fleet. But they will return, it seems. So that's good. It'll take four months to return? It's a long time. So, um, government, demographics. Ethics divergence is 15%. Uh, food, <coughs> population, empire, factions, leaders, contacts. Okay, so there's. Um, oh, wow, there's a lot of empires now. All of a sudden, there are two new empires. These guys are Hava... Who are these guys? Blessed Havagria Foundation. Um, they are rivals with the Commonwealth over here. I wish there was a diagram that I could look at this, or uh, that I can see. Uh, these guys are... Rivals with us? Um, and we are rivals with them. 
So who do we have a good relationship with? These guys seem to be okay with us. And these guys seem to be okay with us. We have embassy with the block of Polkran. Where's the block of Polkran? These guys. So we have so we're in good relationship with these guys. Um We're in decent relationship with these guys here. What are they? Fanatic individualist. So maybe set up embassy with these guys? Establish embassy? Um and then Serene these guys. So we have embassy with three people now. One, two, three. We are rivals with these guys here and the blessed guys. Um they don't seem too happy with us. But I don't want to set them up as a, as a rival just yet. Um, especially since they are just so close to us. It seems a little dangerous. I can't establish another embassy here. So we're just going to have to deal with it. They have xenophobia, new contact, border friction, and we are materialists. Okay. Alright. No, our navy cluster is just chilling. Um, so we should take the navy somewhere. You know what? Whatever. Let's just have it uh, orbit Earth for a while. And resume. We have a lot of energy going. So that's that's something we have going for us at the moment. Um, I would like to find another planet. No, not, not just yet. So before I go and get another planet, I should upgrade this... Uh, uh, the, the ship shelter in our... In our second colony in Sirius into a planetary administration. And that way I can get some more adjacency Excellent benefits. Work. We now have a strong resource base to build our empire on. Okay, now we have plus 30, plus 10. So that tutorial is completed now. Okay. Um, so in Earth... Can I look at... I can't help but notice that our navy is a bit on the weak side. We are certain to face many threats in the galaxy that will require some form of military response. Oh, Remember, that's fair. The survival of our civilization is at stake. Okay, so I guess the next thing, I'll clear this industrial wasteland. Um, and then I will look at... Increasing our fleet. Build 10 corvettes. That's quite a few corvettes. Uh, I'll do it, I guess. Uh, Corvette. If that's the case, let's go and build our Corvette assembly yard. So at least it'll take, or it'll cost less to make the Corvettes. And they'll build faster too. That should help. Construction ship. Uh, we want to build another research station somewhere. Research complete. There it is. It's gonna cost ninety, so I'm gonna have to wait for another month. Okay, we completed some research. Let's pause real quick. Um, unlock solar panel network. Ax advances in solar panel technology could potentially reduce the operating cost of our spaceport. Oh, this is a module on our spaceport. These panel would require an entire spaceport module to generate enough energy. However, okay. Um, so we have new physics research. Research alternative, we can get another research alternative. It costs a lot of research though. Um, the other option is active countermeasure, which is sentinel point defense, component basic combat roles, or power plant, which is more buildings. Um, what are you good at? You don't, you're not good at researching anything in particular. I feel like sentinel point defense would be pretty good. Uh, good for our... Yeah, let's do that. And then for society... We have... 
Orbital Hydroponic Farms, which is an, a module. We have Biolab, which is a building. And then we can clear dense jungle. Okay, that's not a problem just yet. So let's do either Biolab or Hydroponic Farms. Let's do Biolab. So those are going to be our new research parts. Um, do we get any new... No, we didn't. So new, no new ship upgrades. Uh, okay, let's resume. Where's our construction ship? Over here. So I need to wait for a month. And now I can build a research station. Which is what I need to do. Science ship is back. Um, and we need to go survey Zedrin. Or we can survey there. And this area, nope. Omicron per se, where was the one with this one? Okay. So this one, we need to look at Maybe building an observation post there. How would I do that? Hmm. And over here, I think there was... Oh, there's a void cloud here. Let's send our navy to the void cloud. Maybe we can deal with that, and then we can build a frontier outpost out there. That might be a good idea. Okay. Now, are there any upgrades I can make on Earth itself? No upgrades. Um, I can look at putting some more modules on my spaceport though. So there's the Corvette assembly. We can also put a solar panel network. Is it worth an energy credit and uh, a module slot? Maybe not. Maybe not. We have enough energy going on at the moment. Um, I think, you know, minerals might complete. be more important at this point. Updated. We've encountered some alien life form, the Mu aliens. Evading hostile fleet. Where, where is this? Over here. These are the Mu aliens. Um, okay, sure. Uh, evading hostile fleet. Construction complete. Hostile fleet present. Okay. So now, on the spaceport, we're done with the module? No, we're still not. Shoot. Okay, so what can I build so far? I can build a power hub. Which, maybe I should build it here instead. Um, a power hub gives three energy. A power plant gives three energy. A power hub gives energy credits, increased 10% energy credits. Okay, I see. Um, well, this planet doesn't really seem like a power planet. We generate... Well, how much do we generate here? Pause real quick. Investigate moon aliens? Yeah, sure, let's do it. Um... I feel like getting another science ship, to be honest. Because this scientist isn't doing anything. Right? Hostile fleet over here. These are void clouds. I think I can deal with them. They are 178, maybe not. Military power, 178. Aggressive stance. Um, maybe we're not strong enough just yet. Okay, let's let's head back for now. At least we know. Okay. Our science ship is just chilling because there are enemies around. Uh, where can we go? We can go to Rigor. Survey system here. Let's do that. Orbital researcher mandate fulfilled. As per President Boki's mandate, additional research stations have been constructed. 
and that gives us 80 influence, which is really good, actually. Um, okay. Construction complete. Construction complete for what? Clearing a tile? Yeah. So surface, this thing can give two power, so we can build a power plant on top of it. But right now, I don't think I need to build any more buildings um, over here. Can I upgrade? No upgrades available. Do these upgrade? No, none of them have upgrades available. That's okay. There's a idle science ship. It's on Bernard Star. Uh, can you go to Zedrin? There's an idle construction ship. And we can get some more minerals, I guess. So let's build a mining station. Something's using up a lot of energy. Construction complete. Okay, this must be the spaceport. Yeah, the spaceport completed construction of the Corvette assembly yard, so we can build some more Corvettes now. Um, the Corvette 1.1. Corvette 1.1. Okay. And our Navy is just chilling over here. And I guess I can sit the Navy for now. Is he coming Special for us? Project complete. Oh, they're coming to attack us. Ancient mining drones. Report of deep space drones in certain systems has been investigated. The drones appear to be workers and custodians of an autonomous orbital mining operation. Established millennia ago and then soon abandoned by all but the drones themselves. Judging by the state of the processing equipment, their purpose is obvious enough mining. But who it is that tasked them is not immediately apparent. What is obvious is that no shipment of minerals have been retrieved from this system in hundreds if not thousands of years. There may be old drones, but they should be kept under close watch by the Nyan Kitten. Um, mining drone observation. Let's see what they're made of. Take them apart. Hmm. So I could either use... Hmm. Let's take them apart. Let's see what they're made of. Situation log updated. And let's retreat our army since those void things are coming to attack us. Um, let's go here instead. And what I can do is once I build a couple more construction complete things, I can look at um, reinforcing over here and then going to fight the void clouds. Mining drone analysis: disable and attempt to reverse engineer a mining drone. Oh wait, mining drone? There are. Uh, it's a f hostile faction? Is that what it is? Space Amoeba, Void Cloud. Where are these mining drones? Okay, whatever. We'll find them eventually, I guess. So, we want to build a couple more Corvettes. And this Corvette, let's take them here and reinforce. Um, it'd be nice if I can get some more influence on my complete. planets, but I'm not too sure how that works. How do I get more influence? Okay, more Corvettes. How many Corvettes are we at? Increase the fleet. We have built so two so far. Which is all fine and dandy. Let's go here. So, is the spaceport level 2 yet? Spaceport. Why am I still unable to build Research destroyers? Complete. Construction complete. Fourth Navy cluster. Go there as well. Research complete. And there's an election. Okay, let's pause it real quick. We have Bulky, we have Emnix, we have Ibna, and we have Ilsi. Um, their mandates... Honestly, I don't care too much about it. I, I see no point in supporting one of them. 
Um, I mean, if I can get Amnix, who has deep connections, it might be nice. Ibna would be nice too. Corvette focus. I'm not too crazy about it, but if he becomes the leader, I guess I don't mind. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't really care who becomes the leader. I guess. So new research. Nano composite armor is complete. Let's research. Uh, we can reveal more resources. Hmm. So we can improve industry. This does cost a bit. We can get iron thruster or defense platform. Uh, I would prefer the iron thrusters, really. Build up our army, maybe? Let's do that. Okay. Okay, now in Omnicron per se... Where are my fleets? Anomaly found. Oh, it's an anomaly. It's a 15% to research, so let's leave it be for now. Uh, let us merge the navies. So where are the navies here? Uh, let's merge it. And there's another navy here. Situation log updated. Ibna has been elected president. Um, so he has an orbital research mandate, so research stations. As the president, Ibna gives us. Uh, one increased monthly influence, which is pretty good, I think. Seems pretty good. The budget. It means we can uh, get one more research station or our frontier outpost somewhere, which I don't mind at all. Um, let us merge these. Merge. Merge all our forces. Uh, and in Seoul, well, actually, let's hold on a bit. I think in anomaly Sirius, found. another anomaly. Let's leave it be for now. System survey complete. System survey complete. That's system good. survey complete. And another system survey complete. So you can check out this system here. You can check out this system here all right now in Seoul let's look at building more corvettes and maybe one extra science ship so I can survey some more let's do that I have an available scientist anyways use the military let's merge the two of you now we're at 240 Military power. Let's go to Ether, and it's time to fight uh, the the Void Clouds. So let's engage in battle. I think I'm ready. Um, we have decent power. We have our, our attacks are mostly laser. I don't really have any like other form of projectiles, and I don't think these ships really have much armor, um, which is something we really need to research and um, getting some sentinel point defense might help um, getting iron thrusters probably helps our ships as well but right now we're just using like the vanilla Hostile ship engaged. right research complete construction complete okay, pause what's happening um fleet and combat we are in negative balance uh, a lot of it has to do with ship maintenance station maintenance um you can't do anything about building maintenance whatever module maintenance whatever Ship maintenance. What's ship maintenance? Yeah, our ship maintenance is taking quite a bit of power. Um, we basically it means we need more power stations, right? We got new research. 
which activated Sentinel Defense. Assist research allows our science ship to assist with the research on a colony. For each scientist level, the planet gains... Oh, okay. I don't know how good that is. Um, disruptor or plasma thrower? So we have computing, particles, or particles. Assist research seems kind of good. For each scientist level, the planet gains increased research output. So I put one of my science ships um, on that planet, I'm assuming. I think we need to use our science ships for, um, uh, for surveying systems and for exploring. So... Maybe not. So let's either go for plasma throwers or disruptors. Um, they're good against shields. This one's good against armor. Let's get plasma throwers. Who knows? We'll just give it a try. And we are in combat. Construction is finished. We got a new science ship. Um, and we do have one available scientist, right? We don't? Busy commanding. What? What happened to my scientist? Wait, hold on. Contacts, ship designer, empire. Busy commanding. Commanding what? Nan Hildor bit. Wait. What happened to my scientist? Oh, I have an extra governor now. Oh, Elna became the president. That was one of my scientists. Shoot, that means I need to recruit another scientist. Uh, and I have an extra government governor just sitting here. I guess I can recruit another scientist. Military theory research speed. Um, biology research speed. Recruit. Okay, I have an idea. I have an idea. So. Okay. Back up for a second. So we have... Hmm. This thing's biology. And then you have Ukma. So I can trade Ukma for Imdu. And now he has 10% increased research speed with biology. Um, what else are we good at researching? We are good at researching particles. Researching materials. And that's it. Materials. Particles and biology um do we have a particle thing yeah this is particles so i can switch you for rima and you can keep working on ion thruster here right And he's working on Plasma Thrower. Which is Particle. And he's working on this. Um, and my Science Ships. This one needs a leader. Uh, it takes this one. And this one needs a leader. It will take this one. Okay, there we go. And now, this science ship, where should I take you? Um, Karos is no good. Anthony is being researched. I could look out here to these unknown systems. Oh, it's hard to travel to, huh? Let's survey this one first then. All right, now let's go back here and check out the battle. 
Let's see how we're doing. We seem to be doing fine. We have a lot more Corvettes than them, that's for sure. Anomaly found. Another anomaly. Situation log updated. Oh, pause. So there's an anomaly. Um, seven percent chance. Uh, let's research it. Base risk thirty percent. And due to the science level being higher, we get minus twenty-two percent. So it's a seven percent chance for failure. Let's research it. There's a construction ship that's doing nothing. So I should take it and build a mining station here. And... Let's see. My army. Let's merge it, first of all. Um, debris and Elthir. We should research that. Okay. I'll track it on the map. Anomaly. I'm researching that. Okay. And fleet combat status. Basically, we won. Alright, good. Now we can take our army back to Earth. Uh, the 4th Navy cluster, go back to Earth. Repair fleet. And I think I researched some new parts, right? Warp drive, chemical thrusters. Weapons. Now we can get point defense. Oh, what's going on? Hostile fleet present. Okay, those are the space amoebas. That's uh, that's not a problem, I think. Toad asteroid. For some reason, someone has towed an asteroid into a stable orbit around Stebnard 3. The massive engine sections and braking thrusters can still be found on the surface, although they have long since been rendered inoperable Ho whoever did this also mined the asteroid for minerals but these operations were seemingly abandoned shortly after they begun interesting so we got three to engineering research that's not much uh let's repair the fleet um and system survey research complete. there system survey complete here Let's continue to survey this system. Um, oh, so much stuff to do. Uh, Soul. Earth. Do we need to build anything here? Kind of do. Um, power would be good. So let's build a, a power plant. Um, okay. Research complete. Research complete. We com unlocked Bio Lab. Okay, so now we need new research. Um, propaganda broadcast and monthly influence. Monthly influence is pretty good. This edict creates broad information delivery mechanisms, ensuring that a consistent and positive narr narrative is maintained. Last 10 years, happiness plus 10%, and probably cost one monthly influence. Uh, eh, eh, I don't know. New worlds eliminates tile blockers. Toxic kelp. I don't. I'm not crazy about it. About that naval capacity. Uh, I guess planetary unification then. Okay. What's this? Oh, there's, there's something to survey there. Um, our science ships are actually busy right now, so when they do get a chance, I'll take a look at that area. Uh, we have quite a bit more minerals, so let's look at upgrading. Um, oh, I can't upgrade this just yet, can I? I need five population. Can I build anything on here? Like a farm? No, I don't want to do that either. One, two. I can clear some tiles. Mountain range removal. Toxic kelp removal. Oh, wait. No, this isn't toxic kelp. I need 
dense jungle removal. Mm -hmm. What's this? This is toxic kelp. Okay, so maybe I should have gotten toxic kelp researched. Whatever. Um, do I need another construction ship? Probably not. Let's just keep building corvettes. And it's building pretty quickly too. System survey complete. Okay, system survey complete here. Fleet order finished. So let's take this science ship and go here and research this project. Let's take our construction ship. I need some power. Anomaly found. Anomaly found. Is there a higher chance? Let's leave this be for now then. Is this star in our system now? Okay, so we can build a mining station here. Which is good. Now, I need to find another planet that I can... Or another habitable planet. Seems pretty hard to find. Our scientist is leveled up. We found an anomaly. Let's leave this be for now. We surveyed a system. That's fine. Um... Kitty litter. We need to build a spaceport here, so maybe we'll save up for that. Spaceport seems pretty important. Um, and then I would like to get some... I would probably put a frontier outpost here so I can do some research there. Put a re orbital research mandate over here. Or orbital research station. Or, sorry, uh, observation post. That's what I meant. I, I still don't know the term, don't know the terminology just yet. Construction complete. Anomaly found. Uh, pause, 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 pause. Stuff is happening. Um, anomaly. Five percent. Leave this be for now. Inactive building. This building is inactive. Um, I can move the three power onto it. And now there's six power? Sweet. Um, and can I move you onto here? Oh, it's the same thing. Okay. So now we have enough power generating. Um, and there's an inactive building. So when I get one new pop, you can go there. Uh, repairs completed. That's good. Construction finished. Uh, let's keep building. Not this one. Construction finished. Anomaly found. Let's leave this be. And let's keep going. There's a crystalline entity here. And there's quite a few of them. So let's leave, leave those be as well. And we gotta deal with the space amoebas eventually. Um, they have a lot of of military power, so I don't want to fight them System just yet. System survey complete. Construction complete. System survey complete. Construction complete. Let's go to the spaceport. I want to make a destroyer. How do you do that? Do we need to research it? Wait. New design. Corvette? Um, striker, interceptor, shifter. Interceptor core. So what happens if I do this? Two blue lasers. I don't know, cancel. Clear design. How do I go back? Okay, let's take our Corvette. I want to modify it so I can put a point defense point defense drone on it instead. Um, if I put one, it lowers my damage a little. So what does the point defense drone do? Um, click to show list of components. P 
power usage 5, type point defense, damage 2 to 3, cooldown, accuracy, and range. So this one has more... This one's energy, this one's point defense. I mean, it'd be nice to get one point defense, right? So let's save it, and then upgrade our fleet. Um... Merge the two. Construction finished here. Uh, let's keep making Corvettes. Okay. Science ship just chilling here. Uh, what should the science ship do? Uh... I can survey this system here. That's a good idea, I think. Debris analyzed. Debris is analyzed. We got progress on our research, which is good. And you can now survey the system. Okay. I'm really considering building a, a frontier outpost on here um, it's tempting Ooh, it's tempting to do this one there's a habitable planet here hmm obviously I don't think I should settle my third planet at this moment um, simply because this one isn't done upgrading and I want to get this planet you know up to speed before I do anything else but this seems like a pretty good planet has a lot of resources. I would go for it. System survey complete. Ships upgraded. Okay, so ships have been upgraded. System survey complete. Negative balance, yes. Fleet order finished. Um Let's see. Construction ship. Okay, so with the construction ship, I am looking at Putting a frontier outpost here. And that way I can put it in my border. How big is a frontier outpost really? There's one here, right? The frontiers of our empire are by no means final. Frontier outposts act as beacons projecting our influence into the void. By building them outside our domain, we expand and demarcate our borders it's to claim systems this for mining and research purposes. So if I were to build it here, I could potentially get Zarak as well. That's what I'm hoping for. So let's take our construction ship and build a frontier outpost here. Um, and take our science ship and do some more exploring. Maybe over here. I wish I can just set them to auto explore. I guess not. Oh well. Oh, there's just so much to do. Stuff, it's starting to add up. Um, and how's our diplomacy with these guys? So, their opinion of us is pretty good because of the embassy. Polkran, which one's Polkran? Oh, the flying things? We have embassy with them, and they seem to like us. Can we trade with them? Um, materialist and individualist. I guess that's why they like us. Offer trade deals. Um, how much would it take for research agreements between the two of us? Gives the other party minus 25% research cost for technologies that we have already researched. How do I know which one they've researched and which one we've researched? What about information? Star charts? Active sensor link? Border access? Minerals? Well, I don't need any of that. Non-aggression pledge. Well, that's not going to happen either. Guarantee independence. Migration access. Mm, 
I don't really know what I want in terms of a trade. I guess I wouldn't mind a research agreement between us. Is he okay with that? Research complete. Okay, so so they don't want something like that. Okay, let's try again. Offer trade deal, research agreement. Whoa. What just happened? Communicate. Offer trade deal. Whoa, now they're... They are willing to have a non-aggressive pledge with us. Uh, guarantee independence and have a research agreement. How does that work? So research agreement and I'll give you some energy. How much do you want? That's a lot of energy. Especially since we don't seem to be getting much. No, I'm not I'm not crazy about that. How about minerals? Like 130 minerals? 126? Giving you 126 minerals so that we can have a research agreement. They have seven more research. I don't know. But we are focusing a lot on research. I do have to admit that. New research. Okay. You know what? Let's try it. Let's try some diplomacy. Um, so I can either talk to these. What about these guys? They're not willing to do research agreements with us. They have 13 unresearched technologies that we can use. Oh, wait. Yeah, they have 13 unique unresearched... Deal length in years. Cancel. How does this work? I don't really understand. Communicate. Offer trade deal. Research agreement. Okay, well, they're not too interested anymore, it seems. Let's talk to these guys again. Okay. So we want a research agreement between the two of us. Right? And I guess I'll give you some minerals. So 126 minerals. Um, for them to accept our trade offer, their accept trade acceptance needs to be at least one. Okay, how much do you need? 170 minerals. Sure, let's do it. Let's try to get a research uh, agreement between us. And let's see if they'll accept. Have they accepted? Have they accepted? What's going on? Wait. Communicate. Offer trade deal. Research agreement. Research agreement. And... 170 minerals. 168. Confirm. Do we get denied? I can't tell. Where 
where does it say whether they like it or not? Offer trade deal, research, research. Minerals, what about monthly transfer of uh, two? Two a month. For 10 years. Sent this trade offer. Okay, what's gonna happen? Okay, now they've accepted. Accept your trade proposal. So what happens if I try to research now? Do certain things research faster? I don't know. Well, I guess we'll try to for the Ceramo metal armor since we can do it faster. We have a 31% increased research speed. How does the research good. agreement work? We now have a small but capable space fleet that should serve us well in the event of any unexpected hostile encounter. Okay, so now we have a big enough army, so this mission is complete. Um, it's a pretty big army. All corvettes, though. No destroyers as, uh, at, at this moment. Which does suck. I would like some destroyers. Um, and I need more energy, too. How can I build a bigger ship? Is it possible? What are these corvettes? These corvettes use the interceptor core. Which has... Whoa, we can put on armor on our corvettes now. Interesting. Okay, um, let's try upgrading them with nano composite armor. Like this. And we can get iron thrusters, which gives us increased chance to evade. Okay. Save. And then let's upgrade our fleet. All right. Now, how's the construction of my frontier outpost? It's working on it. Or he's not even there yet, actually. All right. Um. We're probably not going to meet our orbital research mandate, but I kind of want this planet over here. I'm going to try to go for it eventually, I suppose. We need observation posts. We need to Anomaly fight the space, space amoeba. Uh, let's have Vara research this area. Ships upgraded. Construction complete. So all of our ships are upgraded now, which is nice. Uh, spaceport construction complete. Surface construction. I should probably look at... Um, uh, upgrading our buildings at this point. Now that... Um, now that we have a sizable army. At least it's a decent size. Compared to everyone else, how's our army? Their power is equivalent. These guys are equivalent. The Polkron are have inferior power to us. Apparently. Um, these guys are equivalent. These guys are equivalent. So we're not that much stronger. But that's okay. So we have a trade deal going on with the Polkron. And okay, okay, looks good, looks good. We are at our naval capacity though, so we should, with this much army, feels like a waste not to fight anything. So let's go to Kairos and see if we can take on um, the space amoeba. And hope for the best. Amnex is still level two, so it'd be nice if we can upgrade our Admiral a little bit. And I'm assuming you can upgrade them by fighting more. And our scientists are leveling up nicely. 
We have two level twos. One on a science ship and... Okay, so here's Karos. These guys have 452, we have 398. Let's try fighting them anyways. Can we? Now, this might be a bad fight. I'm not sure. System but we have hull points. Complete. Right? So we have armor. And they got... I don't know what they got. Large space organisms. I don't know. Let's go for it. Let's see how it goes. Hostile fleet engaged. So there's three of their ships. Maybe they'll miss a lot. Yeah, we're we're winning by a lot. We are losing ships though. We've lost two ships so far. But they've been destroyed. I thought I, I thought this would be like a really tough battle, but that was a very easy battle. So let's repair our fleet. And we're going to try and get a space amoeba specimen. I neutralized the space amoeba. What now? What? That didn't work? That didn't fucking work. We have discovered an abandoned solar sail ship. Um, interesting, we got some research. System survey complete. What? Wasn't that part of our quest? Space amoeba specimen. Neutralize a space amoeba specimen. I totally neutralized them. Did I fuck up? Well, now at least you can go investigate Karos. You can survey the system. Um, and you can research survey complete. here. Got more research. Got more monthly influence. That's good. Regenerative whole tissue. Um... It's a rare technology. It's gonna cost us 3,600 research, 377 months. I don't know, dude, that's a long time. Oh, but it's a rare technology. I have to do it. And maybe I'll put uh, Ilse onto here and put who's available. I'll put you back on here, and this way we can have a 31% chance of researching this technology. It's going to take 309 months. Wait, 309 months? That's a long time. Is it worth it? For a rare technology? I don't know, man. Whatever, I'll try it. This is like uh, like a wonder in civilization kind of thing, right? Let's give it a try. Um, I'm kind of confused with regards to... You know what I'm going to try this time? I'm going to try a... Uh... Let's see. Let's pause it real quick. How do I make it so that they don't run away? Fleet stance. Passive. The fleet will not move toward hostile targets. So let's send them to Ciprox and send the navy to Ciprox as well. Speaking of our ships, actually, I just realized I should probably upgrade my ships over here. Um, they can have armor now, right? And they can have better thrusters, which makes them faster. Uh, maybe a bit, maybe another reactor, but some armor, some more power. 
let's save the science ship design, and when we get a chance, we should upgrade all of our science ships. Similarly, we should upgrade the construction ship. Like this. Let's save that as well. So now we've upgraded our science ship and our construction ship. Um, Corvette. Okay. We can make medium ships as well. So let me try creating a new design. Our Corvette with a, a striker core that has a 13 to 18, a medium blue laser and a small blue laser. And then it's gonna need power, 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 some armor and better thrusters. So these will be a uh, Corvette. No. Nyan. No. Catmobile. V1.0. Or no. Striker. Yeah, let's call it Striker V1.0. Save. Okay. Uh, that's it. It's It's been an hour. I, I can't believe it's been an hour. But uh, that's it for this episode. Thank you guys very much for watching. Our empire hasn't expanded too much, to be honest. But um, we're completing our situation log. So we're completing our quests. We are getting more resources. I should really look at getting more energy. Um, sort of energy is sort of our credits, right? And we're losing energy. So we're kind of leaking energy every month. So we should look at getting some more of that. Um, influence is really good right now. Uh, and with a good influence, maybe we can look at getting better, um, hmm. getting better edicts. And what I'm thinking right now is a society edict gives us 30% increased grants, which when you look at research, another 30% here doubles how much time it takes for us to research it so then after would it only take 105 or 150 months what happens if i do a society grant 250 months yeah 50 months that scrapes off a lot of time all right i'm gonna use the society grant which is pretty good i think um and that's it for this episode there's so much stuff in this game that we could be looking at so much stuff to do These we can activate edicts. edicts practices that can be temporarily enforced by spending some of our influence um mm -mm -mm. but right now we don't need to do anything so much stuff to do so much stuff to learn there's still just 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 uh, so much to explore we've only covered you know this much of the universe but there's still this much left right um but you know we're, we're starting to get a hang of the game and i'm having fun i hope you guys are having fun too thank you guys very much for watching i hope you just enjoyed this episode if you did as always you can leave a like on this video and subscribe to my channel for more daily updates in the future otherwise uh keep in touch guys and i'll see you guys next time bye bye